Pull-ups are hard. I know they're hard. And sometimes you might have been doing them for a really long time and you feel like you are not improving whatsoever. You're still on one or two pull-ups and you're trying to keep yourself up as well by using your legs into it. So today I'm going to give you a five-step guide and it'll take you from not being able to do one pull-up in step one all the way to doing one really good strict pull-up and then moving on from that I'll give you some ideas to also up the repetitions of your strict pull-ups as well. So if you already can do almost a strict pull-up, you might want to move on to step four straight away. But in this video, we're going to start with step one. So let's go. Step one is the hang. You're going to hang unsupported for five seconds. Once you've done your five seconds, you're going to go back to the ground. You're going to rest for 10 seconds. So essentially that's 15 seconds. You do that four times, that takes you to one minute. You're going to do that for 10 minutes in total. Now, you may not be able to do that 10 minutes all in one go. Therefore, there is no problem with splitting it out throughout the day. Whenever you can fit a minute in, do a minute of step one. Once you can do this step one for 10 minutes in one go, then you're going to move on to step two. Step two is the hang pull. So, where you've been hanging, you can do this for 10 minutes now. And now all you're going to do is try static and just pull yourself up to as far as you can go. If that's it, you're going to drop back down. You're going to rest for 10 seconds. Take your 10 seconds. Once your 10 seconds are up, you're going again. You're going into the hang and you're going to try and pull yourself up again. Go as far as you can, then you stop, then you rest the 10 seconds. You're gonna do that for one minute. Once you might only get three or four goes at it in, that's no problem. Once you can do that for all of the 10 minutes and you are getting to exactly the same level throughout that 10 minutes after your 10 second rests, then you're gonna move on to step three. Right, for step three, you might need a little bit of apparatus. If you're doing this at home, you can use a chair, but this is essentially where you're now, you've hit your sticking point within step two. You can't quite do the full pull-up, so you know you're hitting a sticking point somewhere. So, we need to try and overcome that sticking point. So what are you going to do when you're on the chair with the pull-up bar? Let's get as high as you can, legs up, and lower yourself as slowly as possible till you hit that sticking point, then you might need to bring your legs out because your muscles are going to fail. Here we go again. So we're going up. You're going to come down. You're going to hit that sticking point where your muscles give in. And then you're going to support yourself on that little bit of apparatus. That'll probably be a chair or a small coffee table or something that you're using. But be, be careful. Again, we're going to do that for 10 minutes. You're going to do one lower. You're going to take your 10 second rest. And you really need to get to be able to do that, if possible, for the full 10 minutes. Then we're going to move on to step four. Right, step four, we're now going to do our jump pull-ups. We're by. We're going to jump, try and get as high as we can, back down. Jump, get our up as high as we can, back down. But you need to be quality. Try and get that chest as high as you can to the bar. Once you start doing this and going down, take your 30 second rest. Take your 30 second rest. You're gonna go again, up as high as you can, back down. Once you start losing your form, take your 30 second rest, then go again. You're gonna to wanna to do that for 10 minutes before you move on to step five. Now, if you can do step one to four, you should now, fingers crossed, be able to do a strict pull-up. So a strict pull-up, you're going to stand high, uh, with your legs straight and then just pull up, high as you can go, chest up to the bar, back down. You're going to do that once in a minute 
on the next minute, the second minute, you are going to do exactly the same. Back down. Do that for 10 minutes. Once you can do one strict pull-up, one good strict pull-up on the minute, every minute for 10 minutes, you've got to move on to two strict pull-ups on the minute, every minute for 10 minutes. That way, once you go to three, to four, to five, you really, really will start increasing your reps very, very quickly. Right, there you have it then. Five step guide to pull-ups. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And always remember, if you need to take a rest day, take your rest days. It might be worth you doing three days on, one day off. But always remember, if you need a rest day, take that rest day. Other than that, see you soon. Bye.